Hey guys, this is Cybertron Mobian here. And uh, if you guys hear the humming in the background, that's because I'm actually recording this in town because I do not have the signal back at home to try and get through this. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just make this quick and simple today. So as of recent, Kabam has actually released a new story mission as well as released Hot Rodimus. I was getting ready to say Hot Rod, but we... No, they, they call them Hot Rodimus, or Rodimus, whatever. So now we have Dare to Believe. Now, I kind of already did this, as you can tell, but we're going to go ahead and get into this today. And since we have Rodimus Prime unlocked, we'll be using his synergies for this one. So we have, of course, enemies, which is Galvatron, which adds a plus 8 in attack rating. Autobot leaders, all Autobots gain 12% armor piercing against Decepticons. And Strange Times, which increases the chance for deceleration to trigger by 8%. Which I want to guess that's only for Hot Rod and not for Rodimus. So we're just going to ignore that for right now. So here's how our story begins. <laughs> Okay, so Optimus and Rodimus finally get to meet up again after their uh, unfortunate events in Autobot City. I believe that's what the place was called. So we're going to go ahead and get our first introduction of Hot Rod here. Okay, so of course he has his alt mode, which it's just him in his vehicle form just shooting. Kind of sad because we're not running for him, but that's okay. And as I could see there, I got a uh, backfire from Barricade, yet it got purified. And there's Rodimus's first attack, which, if I can remember right, isn't that the same for? Isn't that the same first attack that Optimus uses? Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a look over Rodimus's second attack if we can get to it. And see there, he has the same secondary attack as Motormaster. I don't know if I can get to uh, the third attack final special but essentially he just has the same final as uh, movie one Optimus does. Here's the abilities he has. So Rodimus Prime gains 6.3 attack for every 10% of missing health and the value is doubled against final boss of a story of course. So his first thing it nullifies buffs from the opponent, it removes armor buffs and amplifies damage taken and repairs lost health over time. Not a whole lot considering that you have nanotech on you already, so it's kind of healing anyways, but most of it has to do with either being a uh, glass cannon like Motormaster or healing back up like, uh, would it be Shockwave Synergies? Okay, maybe this will be a good way to show the strength of his last attack. Rodimus being bold enough to take on Megatron toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Alright, here we go. His last attack. 
he kind of recycles the same animations from Prime, Motor Master, and the first movie Prime, but in all honesty, I feel like it kind of fits for him considering the uh, whole Prime idea. All right, so here's our uh, first alternate attacker. Uh, for the first mission thing, they'll be using repair, but there's a good chance it's gonna be worse through the other missions, so just be ready for those. All right, here we go. Expedents. All right, so it's going to be Rodimus and Grimlock. Does he have any special abilities? Okay, I guess not. Oh, there's a block shield. Or a... Power regen shield. So anytime he blocks, he essentially gets uh, power from that. So probably be best to try and make it a close fight rather than try to range it. That's what I glean from that. Okay, I want to guess, unless uh, it's normal for Sideswipe to have like a whole bunch of uh, <clears throat> energy regen. Just keep an eye out for Sideswipe there with all that regen. Other than that, I didn't really see any bots that had a special thing here. Okay, so I do get where Prime is going with this, but kind of obvious that uh, Rodimus and Galvatron are uh, weak against, well, okay, Galvatron has power flow. Still find it kind of weird how they want to get these two to be enemies, but Galvatron has the advantage over him, which I wouldn't be too upset about if it not were for their... Uh, initial rivalry, I guess I would put it. And that's only because, like, they have a similar issue when it comes to Prime and Megatron from the movie. Because movie one Prime has his own uh, thing, like being a uh, brawler, which that's okay, because Technically, his rivalry then would be with Bone Crusher due to Bone Crusher's uh, bleed effect working alongside Prime's uh, heal with bleed, so you know. But I felt like that Rodimus probably would have been better with a different type of ability. Oh, yeah, there's that. I forgot. So, in parts of these fights, too, he has something called Stun Invincibility. So if he happens to get stunned, well, he wouldn't get stunned, really.
All right, so the last one here is gonna be Jazz, and from what I see, he's either gonna be just primarily melee resist. Okay, no, he scrolls through the different resistances, but keep that in mind as you play through this last one. A fleet of primes. That was pretty much Transformers animated, if anything else. I'm glad that they resolve this in more of a... Okay, so I understand this, so how about a little friendly spar just to uh, go about our problems here. I kind of like that about Prime. Oh yeah, right. Uh, just be ready, because this guy's got a Energon shield. I'll be honest, I've never been a fan of the Energon shield, just because it kind of feels like a cheap cop-out to uh, have us do something like that type of fighting so when you get to the last part of this fight just keep in mind anyways that does it for this episode i hope you guys enjoyed this and uh if you like hot rod or i guess rodimus prime go ahead and hit that like button and if you like hot rod then go ahead and click the dislike button seriously i mean he's only good against like bots like barricade and bumblebee and uh bumblebee okay you know what i don't think he's that bad but anyways hope you guys have a great day and i'll catch you guys in the next one this is cybertronium mobian signing off what a load of bull <laughs> <laughs>